11 most interesting things discovered in barns and backyards. Number 11. 13 Graves When Rosalind Wright first bought her house in Charlotte, North Carolina, the realtor did warn her that people from the family who lived there before her were dead and buried in the backyard, but they didn't specify where. So when she was attempting to build a deck in her backyard in June of 2012, she was shocked when she discovered not a few, but 13 gravestones with graves filled with the bodies underneath. Number 10. A fossilized whale. A whale isn't something you would normally think to find in your backyard, but if you live in Palos Verdes, California, you just might have a fossilized whale body in your backyard. Gary Johnson wanted to be an archaeologist for a while before he recognized the patterns of a bone on a strange rock jutting from the Earth's surface in his backyard in Palos Verdes, California in 1978. It took a few days, but Gary and his friends were able to unearth the 1,000-pound fossil. He called an expert to come and check out the find, but was told that his find was insignificant. It took 30 years for someone to take him seriously, but finally, researchers and help from the local sheriff's department came to collect this specimen. It wasn't until then that they discovered that it was, in fact, pieces of a fossilized baleen whale that were over 14 to 16 million years old. The fossil included a section of baleen, which is the filter device they use to filter their food, a jawbone, and its entire skull. The find is so rare that it is now one of 20 specimens ever found. The fossil was later moved to the Natural History Museum, where researchers continue to study it even to this day. Number 9. A Giant Monopoly Board this find wasn't in someone's backyard or barn, but rather inside their house. A couple was doing renovations to a room in their home when they ripped up the carpet to find a giant Monopoly board. The giant board is painted right onto the wooden floor. Why would someone have a giant Monopoly board painted on their floor? Were the previous owners obsessed with the game? I wouldn't mind. That's pretty cool. Number 8. The man who found an 8.2 pound nugget of gold. In 2011, a Californian man discovered an 8.2 pound nugget of pure gold while looking about with his metal detector. He had found both a 4 and 10 ounce chunk previously. Nuggets of gold this large are a rare find indeed and it sold at an auction for $460,000. Experts are convinced that there is a considerable amount of gold underneath the 180-acre plot of land the man holds in his name. After geologists survey the land, they may attempt to convince the owner to put it up for sale for at least $1.5 What would you do if there was a possibility to have so much more than that underneath your feet? Would you sell? Number 7. The James Bond Lotus Esprit The James Bond Lotus Esprit was popular from the moment it appeared on the big screen during the Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me. However, the car disappeared after its movie appearance in 1977. No one knew where it had ended up. The car would lay in wait for several years before it was rediscovered in 1989 after a lucky individual in Long Island paid just $100 for a random storage unit and found the car, dented and without wheels, hidden by a few blankets. Since its discovery, the car had been on display in several different museums for 24 years up until it was sold at an auction in September of 2013 for just under $1 million. The buyer was tech billionaire Elon Musk. Musk, who says he might be able to make the modifications to transform the car into a usable submarine. We'll have to wait to see if he actually does. Number 6. Church Bells The origin of this story actually began 15 years ago when two church bells were stolen from a church in the Czech Republic. For some unknown reason, a thief stole the bells and buried them, presumably to retrieve them at a later date. Obviously, for whatever reason, they were never recovered. To all but the thief, the disappearance of the two bells remained mystery until 2013. In 2013, a man living in the Czech Republic was digging up sections of his backyard to install some pipes for a project, when he came across two metal objects during his dig. After struggling to remove the two pieces from the soil, he discovered the metal objects were church bells that were about 400 years old. After some research and help from the local authorities, he found out the two bells he now held in his possession were from a heist back in 2002. Number 5. The Man Who Found $150,000 Worth of Treasure the man doesn't wish to be named, but he certainly won the jackpot after discovering six pounds of intricately designed jewelry in his backyard. The location where the Austrian man found it was in the middle of an important medieval trading route that ran between Poland and Italy. The man came across the pile of treasure back in 2007 when he was digging in his backyard to expand a small pond. But at the time, he stashed the find in a box in his basement until he rediscovered it later while moving and turned it into the authorities. The treasure trove consists of more than 200 rings, brooches, belt buckles, gold-plated dishes, and other intricately designed pieces of ornamental jewelry. After being examined by experts, the stash was recorded as being over 650 years old and worth at least $150,000. Number 4. An Ancient Chapel 
While celebrating Good Friday, members of the Farla family decided to check out a mysterious metal grate they had seen near a meter-long rectangle outside their house. They had always been curious about it. After pulling away enough debris, Gareth Farla and his uncle, Matthew Lathan, were able to squeeze through the small opening and enter the eerie cement cellar. Upon the discovery, the family checks the house deeds and finds out that it not only dates back over 230 years, but it was at some point used as a pub. A historical documents expert, Richard Westwood Brooks, says that if the deeds are over 230 years old and the room dates back to the 1700s, there's a chance it could have been used as a Catholic hideaway or for other non-conformist religious groups. It may be a cool part of history, but I wouldn't be able to sleep if there was such a creepy room in my house. Number 3. A Stable Full of Porsches In August of 2013, Anglia Car Auctions began selling what was regarded as one of the biggest barn finds of all time. Somewhere in the United Kingdom, one lucky guy stumbled upon a private Porsche collection worth millions of dollars. The private collection had somewhat fallen into disrepair in the time before its discovery, but that hasn't stopped car collectors from stepping up and claiming one or two of the 200 Porsches found at the site. The cars have been routinely sold in bunches, but things are certainly going well, since the first group of 30 cars sold for over $1 million. Number 2. The 1969 Dodge Daytona this piece of NASCAR heritage may not be in the best of conditions, but that doesn't stop it from being worth anywhere from $150,000 to $180,000 in its battered, rusted glory. The car is one of only 503 ever produced, and this one is believed to only have 20,553 miles and two previous owners. It was found in an abandoned barn in Glenwood, Alabama. The car went on sale at Meckham Auctions. Number 1. The Couple Who Found 11 Million in Gold Back in 2014, a couple, who wished to remain anonymous, found eight cans of gold coins buried in the shadow of an old tree on their property in Northern California. The treasure consists of four $5 gold pieces, 50 $10 gold pieces, and 1,373 $20 double eagle gold coins. The most expensive coin found was a rare 1866 no-motto $20 gold piece, which was valued at more than $1 million. Being called the largest coin discovery in US history, the couple remains hidden to avoid a gold rush of modern-day prospects on their rural property. The reason why the coins are worth so much money is because the coins date from 1847 to 1894 and experts have said that paper money was illegal in California until the late 1870s, so it is extremely rare to find any coins from before that time period. They may have found a gold mine in their backyard, but the couple only plans to keep a few coins for themselves and use the majority of it to pay off bills and donate what's left to charity. 